Hi, you're watching the Global Energy Show's 5x5 Trends Edition. And today we're talking the top five uh, workforce trends in the energy industry with Vice President of Petro LMI, Carol Howes. Carol, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Now, Petro LMI specializes in the labor market. So you are the expert when it comes to the workforce and the skills that people will need to be transferable and navigate this growing industry and widespread industry. So let's count down our top five trends, starting with number five. I would define number five as getting workers back to work through site reclamation. In April 2020, the federal government created a $1.7 billion program to support the decommissioning, closure, and reclamation of inactive well sites across Canada. And the program is geared towards getting oil and gas service workers back to work. But it also is really focused on accelerating a high volume of, of work that is really supporting and enhancing the environment. Some of that funding is also targeted at Indigenous communities. A lot of these wells are on Indigenous lands and, uh, and it will provide employment and business opportunities. About a billion of the funding is actually coming through the government of Alberta and already we've had 36,000 companies apply for some of that funding. What it's really doing is helping to provide some certainty for the industry, uh, which we haven't had for a number of years in terms of some of the work that's available for at least the next couple of years. So great to hear uh, as we're closing wells, we're helping the environment um, and a great opportunity for those who are looking for work. And let's go into trend number four. Leads me into trend number four because we are starting to see some skill and labor shortages. The oil and gas workforce has declined 26% between 2014 and 2020. Oil and gas prices have started to recover and they are starting to have trouble finding people. A lot of experienced workers left the industry and they've gone to other industries and they're hesitant to come back. But there's also some other bigger issues that we're starting to look at as an industry. How do we appeal to new younger workers that have become very discouraged working in the industry? Another big one, which is contributing to the skills gap. You know, companies are adopting a lot of new technologies. The talent we need is changing. The skills are, are looking different. The types of occupations are starting to change. Thanks, Carol. And what is the third trend? So the third trend, in my view, is uh, liquid natural gas development. Development of LNG is really a game-changing opportunity for Canada's natural gas industry. It's a real ability for Canada to tap into international markets with our natural gas. Right now, we have about at least uh, five LNG projects that have been proposed. It really bodes well for Canada in terms of a new industry that will really support um, what we already are very good at and we have plenty full of. The other benefit to this LNG sector is that a lot of the skills and the jobs are, are not that dissimilar. That bodes well for the economy and the workforce. And the second trend that you're seeing, Carol? trend is, is technology advancements. New technologies, digitization, automation, they're all changing our industry. And companies are really embracing these new technologies. Petrol MI was involved with a study with ENY, which really looked at how a lot of these technologies are impacting jobs. And we determined in that study that a lot of these technologies, you know, machine learning, natural language processing, artificial intelligence, robotics, they could actually reduce the oil and gas workforce by up to 30% and automate 50% of job competencies, which not the jobs, but competencies over the next 20 years. All right, and our top trend. Well, I think the number one trend is the energy transition. Oil and gas companies are getting on board in a big way to support uh, moving Canada towards a lower carbon future. They're focusing on managing their own emissions, their environmental footprint. They're adopting lower carbon fuels. Canadian companies spend about $1.4 billion a year in, on clean tech investments. 75% of that is from the oil and gas industry. Really innovative ideas that are, are being developed. And of course, these bring new companies, they bring new jobs. I think this is a great outlook um, and important information for people to understand that um, we're not, <laughs> we're not going down, we're going up. So thank you so much for sharing those trends with us today. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. That was great.